How did This Is Us find you, or did you find them? By the grace of God, by the universe, honestly, I don't know. Chrissy Metz, yes. actor, singer, author. Your drink is not vodka, it's no, water. No, it's, it's absolutely water. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me. We're at the 48 Lounge, Midtown Manhattan. The drink is always about kind of how you how you became Chrissy Metz. Uh, <laughs> can we go back in time? Yes. You've written in your book, your autobiography, yeah. about your stepdad. Yeah. It sounds like there were a lot of rough years. Yes. Um, my parents divorced, my mom remarried, and... I mean, what I can say about my stepfather is he was such a great provider and he really took my, you know, my mom's kids in. I think it was hard though, because I, now I have so much empathy and I've forgiven him for all the things that we sort of went through, but he was very tough on me and I don't know why. And I felt sort of singled out. Some of it had to do with weight too, oh, right? Sure. Like he would bring yeah. a scale out oh, yeah. and yeah, 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 weigh yeah. you. Oh yeah, definitely make me weigh myself and make me feel pretty terrible about myself. I tried to not take it personally because I really felt like I was a good kid. Not felt, I was. Yeah. And I am. Yeah. I'm a good girl. And I want to... I like that correction. <laughs> yeah. And I really want to do the right thing. And so I always sort of got blamed for the wrong thing. And I'm like, wait, what's going on? I have... Um, I'm one of five. I was the youngest. Then my mom had two daughters. Okay. So I became the middle child, of course. And I think that's where I was like... Nobody's paying attention to me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but at the same time, I become like a people pleaser. Yeah. I'm like, what about me? Yeah. And I think that's where sort of the idea of wanting to entertain people and make them laugh and make them kinda feel better. From? Yeah, it kind of came from. How do you end up moving to LA? Oh, well. So my, one of my sisters, Morgana, she wanted to be a print model and her and her friend, Jenny, heard about this open call on the radio. And it was at the Holiday Inn in Gainesville, Florida. And they were like, okay, it's just an open call, so can you take us? Because I was babysitting that like, weekend. Like, can you drive us? Yeah, yeah, can you be our guardian? Can you drive us? Because mom is not taking us. And I was like, okay. There was a woman sitting across from me with this like brown hat. And so um, she's like, well, I, I taught at your high school and I really think you should audition. And I was like, this what is this lady saying right now? Like, what is she saying? Why did you do it, ultimately? Peer pressure. Uh-huh. I definitely never saw her again, and so I don't know if that was sort of like that push to sort of do it. Because in my heart, I was like, help me out. I want to get out of this town. I don't want to live here forever. You know, like that so kind of thing. So looking back, is that a total pivot I think moment? so, for sure, yeah. For about a year and a half, we sort of prepared. We would drive to Orlando every weekend, and we do acting classes, like literally cold read commercials. But then I ended up signing on with that manager uh, for acting and singing. And so I went out to L.A. We did a showcase. I found an agent, which was bizarre because I didn't think that was going to happen. And then six months into it, I was taking different actors to auditions, not getting many at all. And then my agent needed an assistant. And you my, become an agent. And I then become a junior agent and become an agent. You're helping other people. Correct. I mean, jobs. I always joke and say that it's like watching my boyfriend take another woman out every day. You're like, <laughs> I hope you have a great time. How many years were you a talent agent? Nine, almost nine years. And then 12 years before uh, This Is Us happened. I mean, we were meant to find each other in that weight loss group. We are meant to be together. And now, we're meant to be apart. How did This Is Us find you, or did you find them? By the grace of God, by the universe, honestly, I don't know. My friend who I worked with at another agency prior said, hey, Dan Fogelman has a pilot. Do you want to audition for it? I was like, yes, because <laughs> I love Dan Fogelman. He's brilliant. But you're not going to get an appointment for a series regular role for me. And she calls me. She's like, well, I got the audition for you. <sighs> I know. And of course, I had the best audition on the freeway on the way to the audition. <laughs> In the I car. Like, yes. But I did get to, I remember getting to the lot. And I always tell the story that, like, I felt like the birds were birdie or the sky was bluer. I felt like I was in a musical, right? Like, no, you know, just seriously, the security singing. guards are like, good morning. I'm like, good morning. Like, it was so, I was like, is this just me? Is this, like, foreshadowing? I don't know. And I remember going to the audition and, and womp, womp, womp. It was not great. And I remember going home and I was like, you know what? 
uh, there's nothing else I can do about it because it's, it's done. What was your so, life like at that point? Like how tight were things? Oh, I was on the struggle bus. Like I was driving the struggle bus. I was, well, 81 cents in my bank account. I had nothing. Wait, 81 Correct. cents. Yeah, I don't know. Many people have a savings account. Like I didn't know that existed. So then what happens? Does somebody call you? So the agent, um, yeah. So I got a call back, which was like, okay, they liked me enough. There's something there enough for them to want to see me again. It was up against like, uh, me and another girl who was gorgeous and funny and talented and I was like you know what it's probably hers and if it's meant to be it, you know it will be we, we did the test again and it was just this other gal Justin and I and I remember her coming out of the room and she said um, I really think this is yours and I was like what the other actress the other actress I want to tell you she was adorable and kind and nice like and she said and I was praying for you and I'm like Chrissy, don't cry, don't cry, but like, that's just who I am. And so I'm like, Tyrion, I was like, Let, can I use it in the scene? I was like, thank you so much, I gotta go, they're calling me. What's going on? I'm like, this is too much. And so we go in and I think we did okay. I think we did pretty well and you don't know. There was never a moment where I thought, oh yeah, this could be, this could be mine. So I get in the car and then I get this like random call and I'm like, I can't, I can't right now, I'm too emotional. Like I, and what is this number? I thought it was, I thought I was the, a debt collector, to be honest. And I was like, I'm not answering because I was late on my car payment. Of course I was. And um, I was broke. And so I didn't pick up the phone. It called again. I was like, oh, my goodness. I was like, I'm in the parking structure, I can't even pick up the phone anyway. I was like, fine. They called third time. I was like, okay, I'm picking it up. And all I heard was, hey, Chris, the end phone call. And I was like, hello? 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 I'm like shouting into to my car into like the Bluetooth. Dan Fogel. Yeah. So I'm like freaking out. And I'm like, this is it because it's either yes or no. Like that's, that's all it's going to be. It's, but I couldn't believe he was calling me directly. And so soon after the audition, the testing. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's Chrissy. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know who I called. And he's like, Hey, and I'm like, Hey, hi. Hey. And he's like, I just want to, we, we just want you to know that you're our girl. And I said, what? Well, hello? Wait, wait, what? Who? I said, Dan, oh my gosh, I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> I said, I, that's literally what I said. I said, you hired a classy broad, just so you know. He's like, we know exactly who we hired. And I was like, what? You know, just crying. And what I didn't say earlier was that after the second audition, I wrote a letter, letter to the executives. And I just said, listen, whoever you hire for the job is going to be the right person. But I want you to know this is the reason why I resonate with Kate. I know what it's like to be the second fiddle because I was an assistant. I was an agent. I was doing things for other people. I know what it's like to want to pursue something and sort of feel like you're in the shadows of everybody else. I mean, you're, you're going to make me cry. Yeah, this well, is like... Sometimes you got to fight for what you want. Sometimes you, yeah, you do. And it's hard to, because you have to be very vulnerable to say, like, I don't know who you're going to choose, but I hope it's me, and these yeah. are the reasons why. Yeah, you put so, yourself out there. I really did. <laughs> I really did. And, you know, for better or for worse, and thank goodness it was for better this time. I know what I want to do, you know, now that we're back, like, for work. Oh, yeah? You're going to call your old boss, or? Who I want to see. I am a super fan of no. This Is Us. I watched it. Somebody told me to watch it from the beginning. Like when it came out, I watched it each week oh, with you. my kids, with my family. Thank you. It was so special because of the way in which Dan decided to tell, tell the story through three different versions of the ages yeah. of the big three, which, I mean, I've literally met 10-year-olds on the street and 50-year-olds who were like, Oh my gosh, I relate so much to Kate or, you know, to Randall or to, to Kevin. And I just never, I don't think any of us could have ever expected that. Through whatever you go through, I'm standing with you. And wherever you go to, I'll stand beside you. And when did you start singing? Well, like, it really was middle school. Really, like seventh grade yeah. when I started singing. I mean, I've always been around music and it's always been in our lives. Like we grew up with on Motown and country music and all that jazz. Well, and yeah. you're, you're having a Middle moment school. now with your music. I'm trying. I'm trying to have a moment. Yeah, you definitely I, are. I just got to a place where I was like, I mean, going back and forth to Nashville for the past six years when I was on the show during hiatus breaks to write music was really what I was doing because I wanted to pursue music on a, in a real way. During the pandemic, I met my boyfriend Bradley on a dating app. Bumble? Yes, uh -huh. on the old bums, on the old bumbles. And um, it's funny because- And he's, he's a songwriter in He's Nashville. a songwriter and he's 
born and raised in Nashville and did um, song publishing for years. But it was lovely because what we got to do was really get to know each other yeah. in a very real way. And like, also all you could really do was talk. How long have you guys been together now? Through almost three years. And when we were getting to know, know each other, we realized how much faith and prayer had such a stronghold in our lives and how it bolstered us. And I mean, 12 years of trying to do what you want to do and pursue your, your love and your passion. Yeah, and you got to have faith. Struggle. Yeah, you got to have yeah. faith. Is that where this book came yes, from? So, yeah. yeah, exactly. Can I show it? Yeah, of course. So, yeah. This is the book. Yes. When I talk to God, I talk about you. Yes. Uh, so I'm reporting with some very exciting news. Bradley and I have written a children's album to accompany our book, When I Talk to God, I Talk About You. We were going to just do an instrumental for the audiobook that I read, and then we ended up writing an entire children's lullaby album to go with the book called Prayed for This Day. We're just really excited. It's really cool to do something creative with somebody that you love. Lightning round? Yes. Okay. I'm about it. Best advice that you would give to somebody like you who wants, wants something so bad? Um, always refer to your intentions of why you want something. What musician would you want to perform with who you haven't yet? Oh, Chris Stapleton, for sure. Favorite moment from the set of This Is Us? It would have to be the table read because that was sort of the, the beginning of that amazing journey. And we knew at that moment that it was really special. I see Matt. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Much. I appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.